In this video, we will demonstrate how to import wages using a spreadsheet in Eames. Visit esd.wa.gov for an example of the information required to file or import quarterly wages for an employer. You will arrive at the ESD landing page. Select Employer Resources. In the search box above, type in Import Wages. Click the search icon. Select the link Importing Wage Files. Review examples and what is required when filing your report. When you arrive at the Eames website, make sure the correct employer name is displayed. In the quarterly reporting section, click Tax and Wage Reporting. For Verify Business screen, you will need to verify this information. For security reasons, employer identification number has asterisks. Hover over the asterisks to reveal the full employer identification number. Same is true for mailing address and also principal business location. If that information is correct, click verified. Select the quarter you want to file. Select I have payroll to report. Select import. Here's where you're going to submit that spreadsheet. Click on choose file. and select your file you're going to upload and hit submit. Because some of the information was incorrect, you'll get an error message below. For example, this error, one of your social security numbers only contained eight digits instead of nine. Go and make that correction In this example, it tells you that record one only had eight numbers for the social security number. So you'll correct that, save that file, and then resubmit. Takes you back to the input screen, select the file again, and then hit submit. File has loaded. And you'll see a screen, just a warning screen. It'll also tell you that errors are in red and warnings will have the triangle. Review the information. If you need to add an additional record, click on Add Record. Select Next. SLC codes are required now, starting with your fourth quarter 2022 tax report. You will not be charged a penalty at this time if you do not provide a SOC code. If employee wage items are missing or invalid and left uncorrected, you may be charged an incomplete report penalty. If you need to make corrections to employee wage items on the report like SSNs, individual taxpayer identification numbers, names, wages, hours, or SOC codes, click on the back button. If you want to proceed, click on the checkbox next to 
I confirm that I have read the penalty and warning on my account. The next button will highlight in blue. Click on next button to continue.